All right, thank you guys. Happy day of rest to you. And if you really end up enjoying this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up by smashing that like button. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please feel free to do that right now as well. I'd greatly appreciate it. With that, guys, we got ourselves a very nice slate of NBA action here on a Sunday. So let's go ahead and dive into it. We're going to start with the Raptors squaring off against the Pacers. 1 p.m. Eastern start time in Indy. The Pacers are the one and a half point favorite at home. Totals 219 flat. And if you like the Raptors in an upset on the road here, they're catching even money for an outright win. Now we're 2-0 in our last two daily best plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And you can access today's daily best play for just $1.99 when you click the link in the description section below. We're also 3-1 in our last four daily best plays in that same category. We currently have a community of over 1,100 sports bettors just like you who are paid, signed up, and active on that page. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now the Raptors are just 1-6 straight up on the road this season. Only 29% against the number in those road games. Toronto's in the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage. Bottom 10 in offensive rebounding as well. Kyle Lowry's been listed as questionable for the Raptors. They're taking on an Indiana squad who's in the top 10 in scoring. And they drop 114 points a game at the Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Malcolm Brogdon scoring 23 points a game, 4 rebounds and 7 assists for the starting point guard. Brogdon's also averaging 2 steals a game defensively. Meanwhile, Domantas Sabonis is scoring 22 points per contest himself. 13 rebounds and 6 assists for the 6'11 power forward. Now, total-wise, the Pacers saw their last three straight all get over the line. 71% to the over in their last seven. Meanwhile, Toronto is 4-3 and three to the over when they traveled this season themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Indiana Pacers, minus 1.5, and, and the over 219. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick timeout and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personal leans out for... Sunday's NBA basketball action. Happy Sunday to you. Hopefully you guys are having an outstanding weekend thus far. Now before we go ahead and dive into some more free content right here on YouTube, I just have to quickly remind you once again that we are 2-0 and in our last two daily best plays on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And if you want to access today's daily best play, it's only going to cost you just $1.99 when you click the link in the description section below. We're also 3-1 in our last four daily best plays in that same category. And just remember, guys, when you sign up for a membership on Patreon, you're going to get access to all the lesser expensive memberships absolutely free. So once again, when you sign up for one of my memberships on Patreon, you're going to instantly get access to all the lesser expensive tiers absolutely free. The cheaper memberships are included with your purchase and for those who are wondering what the difference is between my Patreon site and my free picks here on YouTube, well, what I do on Patreon is I make life a lot easier for you as I break down the daily card and focus in on just four to five premium selections per day. They're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, I'm having a lot more success betting on games that way in smaller sample sizes versus, you know, wagering on every single game that's on the slate side in total like I do here with my free leans on YouTube. Now guys, real quick, we currently have a community of over 1,100 paid members who are signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, I'd love to have you. I strongly recommend it. Link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And moving on here, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into some more free content right here on YouTube. And our next matchup, it's fired up, ready to go on the big screen behind us. Uh, it is going to be OKC versus the LA Clippers, 4 p.m. Eastern tip at the Staples Center. The Clippers are the 13-point favorite, numbers 221 and a half. Now, the Clippers are in the bottom three in the NBA in offensive rebounding. They also rank in the bottom five in defending the three ball at home. 
They're taking on an OKC team who's won five of eight on the road this season, and they rank in the top three in the NBA in defending the three ball on the road. Shea Gilgis Alexander scoring 22 points a game, along with five boards and uh, a good amount of assists. Meanwhile, Lou Dort is scoring 14. I forgot how many assists he averages. I'm sorry. I know it's a good amount of assists, though. Uh, Lou Dort, he's scoring 14 points a night along with three rebounds himself. The Thunder is also in the top 10 in defensive field goal percentage on the road as well. And when it comes to the scoring in this one, OKC's last four straight all got over the posted number. They're also 75% to the over in their last eight. Uh, Meanwhile, five out of the Clippers' last six got over the line as well. 67% to the over on their home court this season. I'm going to lean toward the underdog OKC Thunder, plus 14, and the over 221.5. All right, next contest. It is going to be Cavaliers versus the Celtics, 7 p.m. Eastern start time at the Garden. The Celtics are minus seven, totals 215, juice to the over. And as bad as they've played this past week, Boston has still won five out of their last eight ball games, and they rank in the top 10 in defensive rebounding. And despite Jason Tatum still being out for Boston, Jalen Brown's actually leading the charge with 27 points a night, along with six rebounds and four assists. Now, Marcus Smart, he's also scoring 14 points a game himself, along with three rebounds. And six assists for Boston. Smart's also averaging two steals a night. And he gets a, cu- a ton of calls when he's on the court. I think he's known as a flopper. But uh, he gets a lot of calls when he, you know he's uh, in action, when he's getting minutes. But anyway, Boston is taking on a Cleveland squad who's dead last in free throw percentage. And they're also dead last in scoring on the road. The Cavaliers are making just 63% of their foul shots away from home. And they score only 97 points a game when they travel as well. Now, Matthew Dellavedova and Kevin Love, they're both still out for Cleveland. And when it comes to the number in this one, Cleveland went 70% to the under in their last 10. They're also 6-1 and to the under officially on the road. Meanwhile, the Celtics saw three out of their last four stay under the line themselves, throwing out those back-to-backs against Philly, of course. I'm going to lean toward the Boston Celtics minus seven. And the under 215. All right, next matchup I have for you. It is going to be Hornets versus the Magic, 7 p.m. East. The Orlando Magic are minus one at home. Totals 214 and a half. Now the Magic's still playing some pretty cruddy basketball as of late. Just one and seven straight up in their last eight. Only 25% against the number in those contests. Orlando's in the bottom three in offensive field goal percentage, and they rank dead last in shooting the three ball. Orlando scoring just 101 points a game on their home court. Michael Carter-Williams is still out. Al Farouk Amino is questionable. They are taking on a Charlotte team who successfully covered the point spread in six out of their last eight themselves. They're also covering 63% of their contest on the road this season. The Hornets are in the top five in defending the three ball, and they find themselves allowing just 109 points per contest. Now, Gordon Hayward scoring over 23 points a game, five rebounds and four assists for the 6-7 forward. Meanwhile, Terry Rozier's uh, dropping 19 a night himself, along with four rebounds and three assists. Rozier's also getting a couple of steals a game as well. Charlotte's in the top three in the NBA defensively in third quarter points allowed. Now, total-wise, oddly enough, Charlotte's past three straight ball games all got over the posted number, 63% to the over when they travel. Meanwhile, Orlando saw three out of their last five get over the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward the underdog Charlotte Hornets plus one in the over 214 and a half. Next contest. It is going to be Wizards versus the Spurs, 8 p.m. East. The Spurs are minus six at home, totals 231 and a half. Now, San Antonio has not been playing great basketball at home this year. They're just 2-5 and five straight up on their home court. Uh, they rank dead last in the entire NBA in home defensive rebounding. The Spurs are giving up 114 points a game on their home court. And they're allowing their opponents to shoot nearly 43% from beyond the arc in that same category. Eubanks and White are out. Weatherspoon and Murray are questionable. They're taking on a Washington team who's 5-1 and one against the number in their last six contests. They're also 4-1 and one against the number on the road this season as well. 
The Wizards are leading the NBA in road scoring, and they find themselves knocking down 43% of their three balls when they travel. Bradley Beal's averaging 35 a night, five rebounds, and five assists for the shooting guard. Meanwhile, Russell Westbrook's averaging over 19 a game himself, along with 10 rebounds and 11 assists. The Wizards are in the top 10 in the association in offensive field goal percentage. And when it comes to the total in this one, Washington is 6-1 to the over in their last seven. They're also 73% to the over for the entire season. Meanwhile, the Spurs saw two out of their last three get over the line. 90% to the over in their last 10 meetings with Washington. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward yet another underdog in this one. Give me... The Washington Wizards, plus six, and the over, 231.5. All right, next contest I have for you. It is going to be Hawks versus the Bucks, 8 p.m. East at the Pfizer. The Bucks are laying nine at home. Numbers 231 juice to the over. Now, the Bucks are on a two-game losing streak, and they failed to cover the point spread in their last four straight. Milwaukee's in the bottom five in defending the three ball. They're also in the bottom three in free throw percentage at home. The Bucs are making just 68% of their free throws at the Pfizer Forum. Milwaukee's also in the bottom five defensively in third quarter points allowed. So if you're into kind of those uh, those prop bets, if you go by quarter by quarter, uh, keep that in mind. Now they are taking on an Atlanta squad who's on a three-game winning streak themselves. And of course, they successfully covered the point spread in all three of those victories. The Hawks are also covering 63% of their games on the road. Atlanta's leading the association in offensive rebounding, and they rank in the top three in defensive field goal percentage. Atlanta allows just 108 points a game, and they hold their opponents to just 32% shooting from beyond the arc. Trey Young is scoring over 25 points a game, four rebounds, and nine assists for the starting point guard. Now keep an eye on Trey as he's officially listed as day-to-day. I'm pretty optimistic we're going to see him in action here today, but uh, just keep an eye on him uh, if you're looking to fire on this contest. Meanwhile, DeAndre Hunter's also getting over 16 a night himself. Six boards and a couple assists for the 6-8 forward. Now, total-wise, Atlanta's 9-1 and one to the under in their last 10 contests. 7-1 and one to the under officially on the road. Meanwhile, Milwaukee's 5-1 and one to the under in their last six themselves. I'm going to lean toward the underdog Atlanta Hawks, plus 9, and the under 231. And with that, we are going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Knicks versus the Blazers, 10 p.m. Eastern start time in Portland. The Blazers are the four-point favorite at home. Totals 213, juice to the over. And if you like New York in this spot here on the road, they're plus $1.50 for some money line cash. Now, the Knicks have won three out of their last four ball games, three and one against the number in those contests. New York's leading the NBA defensively in points allowed and defensive field goal percentage. They're holding their opponents to just 30% shooting from downtown. Julius Randle scoring 23 points a game along with 12 rebounds and 6 assists. Meanwhile, R.J. Barrett scoring 18 a night along with 7 boards and 4 assists himself. Uh, Just keep in mind here, guys, both of those guys I just mentioned have not missed a game yet this season. Kind of like Iron Men here in the uh, COVID-2021 season here. Now, New York gives up just 101 points a game, and surprisingly, they lead the NBA offensively in rebounding on the road. Now they're taking on a Blazers team who's going to have to go to work without Joseph Nurkic and C.J. McCollum for uh, you know some significant time here. Zach Collins is also out as well. Portland gives up 116 points a game at home, and they rank in the bottom five in defensive rebounding. Now total-wise, oddly enough, three out of New York's last five ball games actually did get over the posted number, throwing out the Sacramento contest. Meanwhile, Portland saw two out of their last four get over the line themselves. Why not? Why wouldn't we finish with an underdog? Give me the New York Knicks plus four and the over 213. All right, guys. And with that, we are going to dive into our quick pick recap. Once again, brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page. Where we went 2-0 and in our last two daily best plays on that website. 3-1 and straight up in our last four. I like the Pacers, minus 1.5 over 219. OKC, plus 14 over 221.5. Celtics, minus 7 under 215. Hornets, plus 1 over 214.5. Wizards, plus 6 over 231.5. 
Hawks plus nine under 231. And before I give you this Knicks Blazers game here, one final reminder that today's daily best play on Patreon is just $1.99 when you click the link in the description section below. Please feel free to smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. You can also subscribe right now if you haven't done so already. Give me the New York Knicks plus four in the over 213. And with that, guys, we are going to dive into some shout outs. These are the uh, top 10 YouTube commenters over the past couple of days or, uh, or so. Uh, so anyway, shout out to Get a King, Bitch K, uh, Memory Lane, F30 John, Straight to the Point, Kevin Taylor, Regal K, Kian Tanera, Jerome Howard, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my good friend, Chal Henrique. All right, guys, that's going to, you know, do it for me. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Just keep in mind here, guys, if you decide to get a membership here on Patreon today, all the cheaper memberships are included with your purchase. They're absolutely free. So, for example, if you end up buying the $4.99 package here today, all the cheaper memberships on that site are included with your purchase. You're going to get access to those cheaper memberships absolutely free. Uh, also, uh, keep in mind, is that, is that what I normally say? I tell you, every once in a while I forget. Um, oh, one more thing. If you end up buying a package here today, just keep in mind we bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.